Hello everyone and welcome back to the FRC Historian, where today I'll be making my video on the 2010 Einstein Field, going all over all four alliances, all the teams there, and the significance each of them played. Thank you all for tuning in. The reason why I picked 2010 was because most, if all, not all, of the robots looked identical, with one major exception, that being 469 Lost Gorillas, where whenever I think of 2010, I think of their robot, as it was incredibly inventive, as you'll see in some match video later, and it's one of those two robots that, in 2002's Hammond robot, when whenever th I think of on kickoff, what game-breaking strategies this year can we exploit to do well as a team strategically, I think of their robot and then the 2002 Hammond robot as a way of, these robots broke the game by using this rule, what can we do? So thank you all for tuning in. Let's start out with the Archimedes Division and their first pick, Team 254, the Cheesy Poofs. Now, what we have to remember about the Cheesy Poofs in 2010 was although they were still a powerhouse, they were yet to win a world championship. They had had their chance at world finals before. However, they were coming into the season really wanting a world championship win. And they started off at the Silicon Valley Regional, sponsored by Google and BAE in San Jose. We're here as ranked two. They had a line with teams 971 and 649, where they go 6 0 in the playoffs, becoming a regional winner, as well as the Industrial Design Awardee. Going in after this regional, they are 15 0 1, still being undefeated this season. Then they move on to the Las Vegas Regional, where, as ranked two here once again, they would team up with teams 25 and 32 30, where it's part of the number one alliance. They would go 6 0 in the playoffs yet again, where here they're going 13 3 overall, also winning the Quality Award. Then they would move on to the Archimedes Division, where here in the Archimedes Division, they would become ranked first after all of their playoffs, where here they would pick up a very powerful team, that being their first pick, 233, the pink team. Now the pink team started off their season at the Florida Regional, where here going 6-3-1, they were unable to make it to the finals of their regional. Then they would move on to the Los Angeles Regional, where here as ranked fifth, they would go 9-4-1 overall, where they would be part of the number two <clears throat> second alliance with teams 24-29-190, Whereas part of the number two alliance winning both quarterfinals matches, however, losing both semifinals matches, also winning the imagery award, becoming the semifinals tier. Where here, as part of the Archimedes division, they would be ranked 15th, however, being picked up by the number one alliance captain 254. And then they would need to have a second pick. Where for their second pick, they would pick a new team, 3357, the Comets out of Michigan. This being the rookie year, they started off in the Michigan district system where they would start off with the Traverse City District. We're going five, six, and three overall. They'd become the rookie all-star and the highest rookie seed, being part of the number five alliance, along with teams 858 and 3234, becoming the regional, the district quarterfinalist. Then they would move on to the West Michigan District, where they would align with teams 2054 and 1243, where here's part of the number seven alliance. They would upset the number two alliance, going to the semis where they would win both semifinals, then going to the finals where they would upset the alliance of 1918, 1718, and 1896, becoming the district winner and then the Rookie Inspiration Awardee. Then they would move on to the Michigan State Championship, whereas ranked 21st, they wouldn't be picked up by an alliance, but this would qualify them for the World Championship, whereas ranked 36th, they would be picked up by the number one alliance of Archimedes. Now, this alliance would tie their first match against the number eight alliance, win the next two, lose the first match of the semis, yet win the next two against a 330, 25, and 1622 alliance, then go into the finals where they would beat the very powerful alliance of 33, 148, and 201. And that would be the Archimedes Division. Now let's move on to the next division, the Curie Division. Now the Curie Division was headed up by Team 1114 Symbotics, the half of the dynamic duo, and two years after their world championship win, they would come back and try for another. Now here they would start off at the Pittsburgh Regional, being rank one, picking teams 63 and 117, where here they go 17-0-1 overall, 11-0-1 in the qualification matches, picking those two teams and winning this regional 6-0 in the playoffs, becoming the original winner and the Creativity Awardee. Then they would move on to the Waterloo Regional, where here they would be rank 1 and pick teams 2056 and 296, winning this regional 17-0 and after both of these regionals being a undefeated going into the Greater Toronto Regional, where here alongside teams 2056 and 296, this alliance would go 6-0 and in the playoffs, besting the alliance of 3190, 1310, and 1305, in the finals, here they become the Regional Chairman's Awardee, the Regional Winner, the Cooperation Awardee, the Engineering Excellence Award sponsored by Delphi, and the Excellence in Design Award sponsored by Autodesk, all at the same regional. Then they would move on to the Greater Toronto Regional, where here, as part of the Greater Toronto Regional, as rank one, they would pick teams 2056 again and 1547, where they would go 6 0 in the playoffs, yet again, going 15 0 1 overall becoming the Regional Winner, the Cooperation Awardee, the Industrial Design Awardee, and the Website Awardee, all at the same regional. 
Then they would go on to the Galileo, the to the sorry, the Curie division. Whereas rank one, this team would have to pick a very powerful team in order to win the division. And just the team they found. And this is the team who, whenever I think of interesting and innovative robots, I think of Team Four Sixty Nine Lost Gorillas. Now Lost Gorillas start off at the Cast Tech First District and First in Michigan District event, whereas Rank Three they would become the District Winner and Industrial Design Awardee. Well, along with teams 217 and 26, 2960, they would win all six matches, all six of their playoff matches, becoming the district awardee. Then they would move on to Detroit, first mid Michigan robotics district competition, where along with teams 217 and 1188, they would win this district as well, only losing one first finals match, tying the first finals match to 288, 910, and 33. However, winning this yet again, becoming another district awardee, as well as the then we will move on to the Michigan First Robotic State Championship, where along with teams 1918 and 34, they would win the state championship for two of the four finals, two of the same finals. However, tying the first state final, winning the second 15 to 13, yep, losing over. the third 8 to 13, and winning the fourth becoming first in Michigan state champion, as well as the Ed Solicit Engineer Award. Now here they have gone to three competitions won them all with a robot where if you're seeing this right now a robot who legitimately set up in the middle of the field and then after all times wouldn't move and a little squirt from there lining up with the you put the, you put the trends in the balls and it would score instantly doing a match something that would not be defeated with one they would become the rate 21st and the first pick of 11 14 in bodies as part of the Curie Division. Now, the Curie Division is fine to be one more robot, and one more robot that would get to Team 2041 RC Squared from Chicago, Illinois, where here they would go to the Midwest Breach Line at the start of their season with the Rate 3 where they would be coming to rank 12, and they would the number 8 lines along with Teams 1739, where here they would become the quarterfinals of this region against Team 16. 352 and 1732. Then they would move on to the Minnesota North Star Regional, where it's great 36 would be part of the number two alliance, the number second alliance, with 171 and 557 as their two. As the first pick and captain, where here they'll go. 2 0 in the quarterfinals, 2 0 in the semifinals, they would lose the first final, tie the next two. However, in the third final, the fourth final, lose this match, becoming regional finals in this team 71, 1986, and 2667. And then move on to the Curie Division, where all three of these teams will go 2 0 in the quarterfinals, 2 0 in the semifinals, and who guessed it, 2 0 in the finals, becoming the Curie Division champions. Now let's move on to the next one, the Galileo Division. Now for the Galileo Division, the captain of this alliance would be Team 16, 1625 Winnovation, who would innovate to win. Now here, they would start off the greatest Kansas City Regional, where they would become regional finalists, where they would pick Team 16 and 2410 as number two as part of the ranked second alliance, where they would become 2-0 in the quarterfinals, 2-0 in the semifinals, win the first final, however, lose the next two, become the regional finalists as well as Excellence in Engineering awardee. Then they would go on to the second regional, the Midwest Regional, where as part of the Midwest Regional, they would rank third, becoming the captain of the number two alliance along with team, where they would be part of the number two alliance along with teams 111 and 3135, where here they become 2-0 in the quarterfinals, however, lose the next two semifinals, become the regional semifinals, however, they would win the regional chairman's award. Then they would move on to the Galileo Division, where here, as ranked third, they become captain of the number three alliance, and then they would need another team to pick. However, the other half of the Canadian Dynamic Duo was still available at this time, and who guessed it? Team 2056 would be there to fill their spot as the number one, as the number one pick. Now, first pick. Now here, Team 2056 would start out the Waterloo Regional, where here, as ranked second, as you know, they'd be picked up by Team 1114, and then along with 296, who was 6-0 winning this, where here, Team 2056 would become the regional winner and the Industrial Design Awardee. Then they would move on to the Greater Toronto Regional, where here they would also win with 1114 and 1547. However, they would win the Woody Flowers Award, the First Jesus Award, the winner, as well as the Quality Award. Then they would move on to the Galileo Division, where as ranked 10, they would be picked up by Winnovation as part of the number 3 alliance. However, they would need one more robot. And there would be one more robot they could pick up, this team being a rookie team, 3138 Innovators Robotics out of Ohio. Now this team would start out at the Pittsburgh Regional, where here this team would be ranked fourth, the rookie all star, winning the rookie all star and the highest rookie seed award, where along with teams 1279 and 2656, they'd be part of the number two alliance, going two in the quarterfinals, winning the first two semifinals, going on to the finals, 
where here they are going to the finals against teams 11, 14, 117, and 63, where they would become the regional finalist. Then they would move on to the Buckeye Regional, where here they would be part of the number two alliance, going 12, 4, and 1 overall, becoming the Rookie All-Star Awardee, the Highest Rookie Seed Award, and the Sportsmanship GP, Grace Professionalism Award, where their alliance, the 32, 01, 1038, and 3138, would win the both two quarterfinals, win the first semifinal, lose the second, yeah, win the third, lose the first final, win the second, whoever said, lose the third to become the regional finalist. Then they would move on to the Galileo Division, where it was ranked 17th, they would become the highest rookie seed awardee and then part of this alliance. Now this alliance would go 2-0 in the quarterfinals. They would go 2-0, upsetting the number 2 alliance in the semifinals. Then they would go into the finals where they would upset the alliance at 1086, 217, and 2429, becoming the third ranked, third ranked Galileo Division, and then also the T alliance to move on to Einstein. Now, if you've seen the other two alliances, those were both ranked one alliances. This one would become ranked third and would move on to the Einstein field. Now we're going to move on to the last division, that being the Newton division. Now for the Newton division, we're going to move on to uh, the Captain 294 Beach City Robotics. Now Beach City Robotics would start off at the San Diego regional, where here is ranked 33rd, they become part of the number three alliance along with teams 359 and 100 where they lose the first quarterfinal and win the next two, win the first semifinal and lo lose the first semifinal and win the next two, and then win the next two finals against 17, 17, 25, 43, and 115, becoming regional winners. Then they would go on to the Los Angeles Regional, where here is ranked four, they'd be part of alliance of 968 and 980, winning both quarterfinals, winning both semifinals, winning, losing the first final, losing the second final, becoming the regional finalist as well as the innovation and control awardee then they move on to the new division where it's rank one they would have to find a suitable first pick and a suitable first pick they would find this being the hot team out of michigan now the hot team this year was hot team in their prime they would rank first at their first district kettering university first robotics district competition where here is rank one they would pick teams nine ten and seventy Winning both quarterfinals, both semifinals, losing the first final, win the next two, becoming the district champion, alongside the cooperation award and the quality award, going 17 and 2 overall. Then they move on to the Detroit first robotics district competition, where here as rank one, they would pick teams 10, 23, and 51, becoming the winner here as well, winning the first two quarterfinals, winning the next two semifinals, losing the first final, however, winning the next two, becoming the district champion, along with the cooperation award and the industrial design award. Then they would move on to the Michigan State Championship, where as rank two, they would cap an alliance of 217 and 2612, where as part of the number two alliance, they would win both quarterfinals, win both semifinals, tie the first final, lose the second, win the third, and as you know of a previous alliance, would lose the fourth, becoming the regional finalist to the alliance containing 469. Then they would move on to the Newton Division, where here, them and 294 would need to find a suitable successor, and believe it or not, they would find a very suitable one, that being, believe it or not, 177 Bobcat Robotics, the second pick of the 2007 Newton Division, where they would become the world champions. Now here, Bobcat Robotics would be available yet again in 2010, and after their season, they would move on, they would become a suitable second pick for this alliance. Now here, they would start out the, the Northeast Utilities First Connecticut Regional, where they would win the Dean's List Award. Becoming part of the number five, fifth alliance along with teams 173 and 2791, where here they lose the first quarterfinal, then upset the fourth alliance in quarterfinals two and three, then lose the next two semifinals against 102, 383, and 1124, becoming a regional semifinalist. Now, after this first regional, they would go on to the Newton Division, where along with their two teams, 67 and 294, we get to see how they did. They won both quarterfinals, won both semifinals, and then won the first final, lost the second final against 16, 17, 18, and 343, however, winning the third, becoming the Newton Division Champions. Now we're going to start getting to where it's interesting, that being the Einstein Field, where you most likely came to this video for. Let's talk about some of the interdivisional playoffs. Now the first interdivisional playoff was between the Alliance of 294 and the Alliance of 1625. Now here, in, the, in this very consistent playoff, in the very first semifinal, you had the Alliance of 294 67 and 177 win the first match 14 to 13 against the Alliance of 1625, 2056, and 3138. Next up, you had actually an upset with 2056, 3138, and 1625, scoring 22, the highest score on all of the Einstein field against the other Alliance, 67, 177, and 294. 
where here 22 to 14 they would win the second however there would be a tiebreaker now in this tiebreaker the red lions in this match captain by 294 67 to 177 would win 15 to 12 winning and securing their spot on the einstein field now on the other side the other half of the dynamic duel would fare better where here the captain 11 14 469 and 2041 would go 16 to 10 against 254 233 and 3357 second match 19 to 11 the 11 14 alliance would win again against the 254 alliance making them the semi-finalist the two the blue alliance in the first match and the red alliance in the second match becoming the regional the einstein level semi-finalist now in the finals you have two very powerful divisions the newton division and then also the alliance 11 14 469 and then their second pick 2041 now here on both finalist divisions you had a rookie team so we had two rookie teams that made it all the way to the einstein field however neither of them made it to the einstein finals now you have curie and you have newton and if you want to know some significance here the curie division had never won in einstein field up to this point as it was almost a curse to be put in Kiri. However, this alliance was a very powerful one, consisting of Team 1114, 469, and 2041. 469 having a robot who barely did anything after Einstein ended and was able to do incredible throughout their entire season against the hot team, even beating them in the state championship. Now here, the alliance of 294, 67, and 177 would put up an impressive feat, 16 to 14 in the first match. Then they would move on to the second match, this one being highly contested, could decide the fate of this championship newton or curie whoever wins this one red wins they win the championship blue wins they bring it to our match where here it would be decided 16 to 13 the red alliance captained by 294 67 and 177 would win the world championship making team 67 back-to-back -back world champions 2009 and 2010 177 becoming the only team to win a second world championship as a second pick and 294 winning a world championship as the captain of the newton division now here, world finalists 11, 14, 469, and 2041. 11, 14, not making, not winning yet again. However, becoming the world champ, world finalist. 469 would have to wait a few more years before their world championship debut, and back to the world finals in 2013 as we expected, and then in 2014 becoming a world champion, and 2041 having made it to the Einstein finals being incredibly important to them. Now, thank you all for listening. This has been the FRC Historian. I'm glad you all tuned in. If you have any ideas for what you want to do or any comments on this video, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to cover them. Thank you, and this has been the FRC Historian.